Welcome to another episode, episode three, Rants from a Hat. Rants from your mom, mm. Svaj. I am connected to great. I am Cheyenne Laws. Yep. Yeah. Oh. It's uh, where we pick beautiful topics from you guys, the people. Mm-hmm. Uh, Very beautiful. Out of a hat, this magician hat that you see, mm-hmm. Noah Rabbit won't come out once again. Nope. Um, My handwriting's really bad, so. It can't I be worse ha- than mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it that bad? I think I scribble, scrabble like a 13-year-old chicken. Ooh, like hey, hey? Mm. Ooh, I love hey, hey. I love hey, hey. Especially when he picks the shit out of things. Sorry, Ooh. I cracked my neck. Oh, I wish we could have heard that. Yeah. I don't think it was loud enough. Next time, next yeah, time. Yeah, next time, next time. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think we should John Campo this time because I won the last two times so, so i think you, you can pull all first. right i guess i'll start off since i'm a loser yeah all right that was what go. i was getting at rant number one out of this one little beautiful magician hat from amazon yes is it really from amazon mm-hmm. cool. six bucks Shout out to amazon yeah they're cool people who like to spoil ah like i'm assuming like spoil things like like spoiler alert oh yeah i'm assuming i mean i know you guys sent it in yeah you guys you should be more specific yeah. people like to spoil spoil what like milk well <laughs> <laughs> i love leaving milk in my fridge for three weeks yeah, pour it in my porridge <gasps> and eat it like some porridge what bars <laughs> all right people like to spoil um it's plain and simple like don't be stupid like I, I i can only think of movies like yeah that's what i was thinking like of a, like if a big uh blockbuster summer hit you know opening week and you know you may have not watched it you know the first day it came out mm-hmm. and then like you hear you know oh i watched that movie and blah 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 it's you know keep it very vague yeah just just don't spoil it don't 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 give me like the insights. Like I ain't trying to hear that. I'm trying to watch a movie my damn self. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, like f you guys for people <laughs> who like to spoil things. Like, Why'd you censor it? I don't know. I just <laughs> <laughs> fuck you guys. We said fuck three hundred times in I the know, last two just, episodes, and then you censored that. I, I was that. trying to be nice. No, but no, fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, don't spoil things. Yeah. Like, yeah. Look, I get it a lot on social media. Do you? Like I'll be like flipping through Twitter, and I'll be like, wow, I can't believe everyone died at the end of this movie and i'm like okay like, well it. i'm not like, gonna watch it now because yeah, i know how it ends that yeah. just saved me 15 dollars. yeah yeah I'll just wait till red box come out yeah red box <laughs> wow <laughs> i have actually used red box red, they're, they're pretty red cool box is pretty chill. yeah yeah um and i like love movies like i love going to the movies like, like how much do you love movies like, like would you stick your pp inside a movie hole i would and i would let movies stick their pp in my pp hole okay you, i don't you know if i movies. i do yeah. like that was like our three like our thing growing up is me and my mom and my brother because i had a single mom that was like our thing to go do is we would like like weekends we're like okay family movie night and we would go to the movies like That's i love movies about. movies is the shit yeah so like when i'm scrolling through something and there's something that i was like maybe excited to go see and then someone like ruins it i'm like okay thanks for ruining my family tradition <laughs> <laughs> It runs that fucking deep. Like, what you, an asshole. Yeah, right? like, like you like, ruined my family date. Like I was going to go get fucking drunk off of popcorn. You know what? There should be. It's, it's an unwritten rule. Yeah. That like say a, a big time movie comes out and it's, and it's anticipating um, that everyone's going to watch. And, and, you know, it's going to be yeah. the talk of the freaking summer. Yeah. There should be at least a two week rule. Mm hmm. If once the movie debuts. For the next two weeks, no one should really like. You can talk about it for the people who has watched it. Yeah. You know. You know. You can talk amongst each other, but it, it shouldn't be like anything in details. Yeah. After two weeks, if you haven't watched a movie, then you're just either a yeah. broke bitch or a loser. I, I can't really think of anything else. Yeah. And if you're a broke bitch, like you probably want people to tell you what the story was because yeah. you can't afford to go see it. So. And then you might can just well. paint it visually in your head and be like. Yeah, it's a cool movie. Yeah, cool exactly. Movie. A cool. <laughs> it's a cool movie. I don't know. It was a cool movie. <laughs> you sound like that big guy from Frozen, the um, big summer blowout. That guy. I don't remember that part. Oh, God, I can't. And take, I love Frozen because I, I can't I love take you Olaf. anywhere. <laughs> He's my dude. I love. He Olaf. is. Yeah, he is your dude. Yeah, I think like social media should have like a filter and it'd be like 
like oh avengers came out um so any like post that has the word avengers in it they just block it yeah block it for like, <laughs> it's like fuck weeks. you guys yeah, yeah, yeah for two weeks and then it's open so i i guess for this topic i, I can only think of just people who like to spoil movies that's i mean what else can yeah. you spoil besides Whoever, milk i mean right right <laughs> yeah for whoever dumbass yeah yeah then you should like go through your fridge more often but <laughs> for anyone that submitted that if that wasn't what you were going for feel free to resubmit yeah. it and be a little more specific so we don't fuck up your topic all i can think of is you know spoiling movies yeah maybe like sports like uh when people uh tape delay things but then again like Mm. does take delay like well and i was thinking because the last episode we talked about spoiled kids so mm. like maybe they meant like people that spoil like like, like their kids do the most for their yeah kids or their significant other or something but i don't so. know if that was really i like the spoil movies that's yeah. what we're going with that's what you yeah. got and Thank that's and fucking period, take it or leave and it and stamped period vaginas all right my turn here we go 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 oh Oh, this way. What we got? What we got? <laughs> I opened it backwards. Um, gas prices. Ah. ah. Gas holes. <laughs> That's what I like to think about gas they prices. They are gas holes. Earl of gas holes. Uh, Premium. Premium. <laughs> well, that's like like when you're purchasing a car, you're like, okay, I got to, you know, pay for this loan or whatever and my insurance and shit. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I think for me personally, I forget to factor in how expensive gas is that it's like, like hundreds of dollars a month, especially because I drive like a lot like we live on one side of the island and i have things to do on other sides of the island you know and it's like a big fucking expense but i also don't understand because i just never took the time to be educated about it like the process of getting gas like i know they have to fucking drill mm -hmm. and get oil and shit i don't know i don't know it's either. probably really expensive to go to a different country and drill some shit and get some shit out and bring the shit back yeah it's a lot of shit so much shit it's like diarrhea. <sighs> Bloated. Like, just, you know, the technique that you taught me in the last episode, like putting the baby's, uh, like you're jerking it yeah. towards the stomach and then the shit comes out. Yeah. Easier. I don't like you talking about jerking and babies in this <laughs> sentence. I don't know how I feel about All that. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> that will be the last time I will Thank you. talk about jerking babies. I appreciate you. Or jerking off or beef jerky or any type of jerky. Yeah. Well, just not the babies. Yeah. We can talk about jerking off all you want. Okay. Okay. Next but yeah, time. like I don't really know any, uh, or how I feel about gas prices other than it sucks if it's high. I have no choice. I can't like change that. I mean, I just yeah. When I when I put the damn nozzle in the hole, I just exactly insert it like that, like a little peep to a, a well, just a bird to its beautiful nest. I love that because I call it a peeper. <laughs> you call it a peep now. <laughs> A little peep. <laughs> a little peep. It's like the marshmallow. Peep. Yeah, the little uh, little birds, right? Yeah. And then inside, it's soft and fluffy. Yeah, right? it's like marshmallow. Because it's a marshmallow. Yeah, and they have like the little bunnies Those and are stuff. the shittiest candy of all time. They are time, so bad. Right? But like, wouldn't you be excited if you like unzipped a dude's pants and there was a peep there instead of like, like a, a wiener? <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. What if it came out on its own? Like, <laughs> You're like, oh, oh God. Gosh. And it was alive. But when it was like, took a bite of it... <laughs> It was nice and sweet. Right. It was a marshmallow inside. It's not an actual penis inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That, that'd be weird. Would you eat dick if they were made out of peepers? I or mean, made out of peeps? it'd be tempting. Right? I'd be tempted, yes. Right? I, w I would be more excited to find a peep than an actual penis. It's like, oh, I can't wait to suck some dick today. I know. Wow. <laughs> right? Because they taste like There's a little salt and cheese normally. So Tweety bird down there. <gasps> and it comes out. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> That's what the little peeper, the little bird says. But I made it like a pigeon sound, and pigeons it did. are not like They're ugly. you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what if you open it and it was like a big ass pigeon, like? <laughs> like what's up, motherfucker? Like, <laughs> what's up, bitch? <laughs> you gonna eat me? I think I might like that more. Like, like kind of intimidated. It's kind of like an S and M thing. I'm not gonna lie. I might take a bite or two. Yeah. 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 What if you know how like um snow white how mm -hmm. she like sings and all the animals come ah. and she but she sings and it's just like people's peepers like <laughs> brr, brr, brr. i don't think <laughs> i would watch that or let my kids watch it i would totally watch it okay i would have it on loop ah. <laughs> for some reason i thought you said lube like that's interesting <laughs> well since we're on that topic lube would make sense yeah yeah lube birds yeah. and snow white yeah i think lube for peepers would probably be like maple syrup or something mm. right yeah, because it's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, honey, 
simple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> just sugar and keep water. The low sodium because I'm trying to watch my figure. Oh, got it. Thank that you. went way off of <laughs> gas prices. All I gotta say, gas prices sucks. I have no choice. I use premium. My car is a nice sports car, so I will. Take She's care got of it. money. <laughs> 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 but yeah it sucks i can't do nothing about it uh please lower it i don't know is that too much to ask yeah fuckers is it my turn it is yeah that's right because you pulled out the gas prices gas pull, out, hole. pull out game strong hashtag gas hole <laughs> hashtag gas that's hole. when gas prices are high i like all that. right is this the last one this is the last this one this is the third one right this is the third all right wow how's this how do we rant about favorite athlete oh that's weird <laughs> Uh, Sh- should we skip it? I mean, like, how do you rant about a favorite athlete? Like, I don't know. I don't mind skipping it because favorite. I don't. Well, you could like rant, like go on a tangent about how much you like them. But I have zero oh, good rants. I have. Yeah. Rants can be positive. Oh, I never knew that. Well, yeah. It's just like a very passionate monologue about a huh. topic. <laughs> well, you, if you want to skip it, it's up to you. I feel like you, you would have nothing to contribute. I though. do have nothing to All contribute. Right, well, we'll skip it. We'll okay. skip it. All right. Well, we'll <laughs> For anyone that doesn't understand that, I don't watch sports <laughs> at all. Like, zero. Body image. Ah. Like, what do you mean? Like, but, like... I don't get it. Like, you don't know what body image is? I get it, but, like... Well, you know how, like, like, there's, like, those campaigns out are now? Are you talking about, like, like... Like, physique and, like... Fat people, when they try to dress skinny and they wear, like, the thongs. Like, look at me, I'm sexy and blah, blah, blah. Like... Yes. I'm not a huge fan of how you phrased it, I don't think. <laughs> I did go to public yeah, school, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, like, you know, there's, like, the um, Dove commercials, and mm-hmm. it's, like, real women, and it's women of all different shapes and sizes mm-hmm. and ethnicities and body image, like. Well, with that being said, round is a shape. <laughs> so you're in shape if you're round. Yes. <laughs> Technically, round is a yeah, shape, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, what do, how do we rant about that, like? I don't <laughs> I don't know if you fully understand what body image is. Do you want me to go yeah, first? Explain. Okay. Maybe, or go first and then I'll kind of like okay. put well, my two cents in. I think it's very interesting that like to be attractive, you have to be like a certain height and a certain like okay. body fat percentage. And you have to have tits that are this big and an ass that's this big and this complexion. Um, it's kind of like really stifling because a lot of people don't look like Victoria's Secret models, you know, mm-hmm. myself included. And me too. Yeah, Ken. Yeah, Ken looks more like a Victoria's Secret model than I do, but he's still pretty far off. <laughs> but it's like the spring catalog, page twelve. Oh, but there's only thirteen pages in the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the way in the back. But I, I really, really appreciate that the body image that's presented in media is changing now. Mm-hmm. Where it's like a little bit more open. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you know, people of all shapes and sizes exist, and it's kind of that same thing like racism, like why is one person's skin color better right, than another? Right, it's like, right. why is one person's physique, which is like, you know, I will never be bone thin no matter how much I work out because that's not like my structure, you know? So some people have different structures and that's okay. I feel like certain settings, you do have to have a certain look, right? Like if you're going to, um, I don't know, like pose for, a, you know, men's health magazine. Right. I mean, you got to be somewhat fit. That's right? true. I mean, you can't just have like a scrawny person like, yeah, look at my muscles. Yeah. <laughs> or my bones or my abs or, or my, my ribs. Or my skin. <laughs> <laughs> my ribs. That is right? true. I, mean, like, th- I guess depending on the s- setting, but I do like what you were saying. It's a little bit more open, you know, when it comes to like w- whether it's like maybe movie roles or right. or even athletes. Not all athletes are built the same. Right. There but is I some mean, big ones and whatnot. But, like, men's health, like, to be healthy, you have to have a six-pack and giant muscle. Like, you're still... There's still versions of health. Okay, maybe not that, men's health. Like, no, 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 but, like... Or, like, a bodybuilder. But, yeah, you know, no, a lot of people think like, like that. you like a bodybuilder, right? Right, right. Can't just have, like, a fat person be like, yeah, follow my regimen. I, I, I bodybuild <laughs> with french fries. <laughs> I meal prep, just went to Domino's, slice it up, <laughs> put in my Tupperware. They slice it for me. Had it's it great. for about seven days straight. Wow. Carbonation. Every meal. <laughs> Carbonation, <laughs> not carbonation, but not carbonation, but carbonation. carbonation. Yes, exactly. I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna hashtag that. And carbonation. S- have a crew, but like, f- like, all right, uh, we can skip that. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that. I later. did. No, but I think I think there's a there's been a big movement now about like changing 
what people should look like that's presented mm-hmm. in media big giant air quotes on what they should look like uh, and i think that's really like healthy because mm-hmm. body image like if you feel like you're ugly and that's not good for your mental health you know <laughs> and so representing everyone in a positive light no matter what their shape is is way better for society than being like you have to be skinny yeah yeah I, whatever cheyenne says i concur I do, do you agree. understand what body do, image? Do. okay okay you know I, i'm just thinking like different settings like yes you should it just really depends but like say for a news anchor you don't have to have this chiseled chin or the big tits and like this pretty you know no. Spanish girl. no you, you can be fat and ugly and still right. report the news right yeah exactly because it's there's no requirement for you to be attractive no. if you're skillful <laughs> for that job yeah yeah i i can see why they put like you know the the handsome fella and the pretty girl but for aesthetics yeah but yeah no but like yeah if you're gonna be uh you know a football player i i would think you would have to not only have the skills but like i mean you gotta be big to play football That's you true. can't just be like five foot four right well we get that a lot in dance too because <laughs> they want <laughs> you know <laughs> me flexing my muscles you know because they want everyone like it's a nicer aesthetic image if everyone's the same mm. height rather than having people that are like ding, 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 you know? But it's changing though, right? I, it is world? changing, but it is contingent on like, say you're like dancing for like Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's like pretty tall right. for well, a woman. Well, that's understandable, right? Right, and so she's not going to have dancers that are like 5'2 because they're going to look, it's going to look like she's dancing with children. Unless, unless. she ha- unless, <laughs> <laughs> unless she has a little midget section. I would love a midget right? section. Yes. That would be great. That would be awesome. <gasps> Taylor Swift, if you're watching this, which you're absolutely Changing not. Changing the game, baby. <laughs> you, you should. <laughs> you should definitely have a midget section. Because mm-hmm. they need to be represented, too. Yeah. because midget, Everyone does. Midgets are people, too. They are. Yeah. They're, They're smaller. Just a little small and know me like. <laughs> Do you even know me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know me? Do you even know me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was the, yeah. the worst. Okay, I get it with the body image. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that makes sense. And that's another one. That one, racism, fucking feminism. I definitely could talk about for like 3,000 years, but. Can you live that long? No, and I don't think my computer will record for 3,000 yeah, years. So. <laughs> <laughs> that would go before I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. will be around forever. Yeah, I'm eternal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm immortal. Immortal. Mortal Kombat. I'm really surprised you know that. Oh, yeah, I fuck with Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay. who's your favorite character? Oh, Scorpion. That's why we're best friends, because I'm Sub-Zero. <gasps> hey, I, I like that. Get song. over here. Wait, that's Scorpion. That's Scorpion. And I did the Sub-Zero move. Yeah, you did. Yeah, well. It's also um like Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun fact, the creator of Dragon Ball Z uh, used... Kamehameha, the word. Yeah. Uh, he he got that from our uh, the old Hawaiian king, King Kamehameha. Oh, really? Uh, I don't know why, but I saw it somewhere on the internet. But oh, that's crazy. Because it's spelled there. exactly the same. No, yeah. It, it's, so, for you Dragon Ball Z lovers, just know that Kamehameha. For you ball lovers. <laughs> or you just ball lovers. Or, or balls of dragons. Just know that that Kamehameha came from uh, the king. Here. All kinds of good shit comes out of Hawaii. You know what I mean? Kamehameha. They just, like pronounced it wrong, but that same word. <laughs> Fucking yeah. spam. Us. <laughs> Come on now. Can't, we're the worst. <laughs> we shouldn't represent <laughs> yeah, Hawaii at all. We're in the far back. Yeah. It's a far back, boy. Oh, that's oh. bad. I haven't done that in 10 years. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up <laughs> yeah, this episode. We, we got to stop now before he starts doing that <sighs> voice again. Um, thank you again for watching. This is our third episode. So if you've been here for all three, you're an O motherfucking G. Yeah. Thank you for supporting. Support. For support. <laughs> Not that slurpy sound. Mm, tasty. Delicious. Nutritious. Yes. So uh, continue uh, giving us topics so we can put in this lovely black hat that Cheyenne got from Amazon. Six mm-hmm. dollar. Uh, woo. So, uh, yeah. Rants from a hat. I'm connected to great. This is... Cheyenne Laws. Peace out, motherfuckers. Beep, beep, beep.